Hello, I'm Sean Bohr with EpicView. In this series of videos, we're going to show you how to install the EpicView satellite system on a commercial freight truck. In this first video, we're going to discuss the tools that you'll need to install the EpicView satellite system on the back of a truck with a permanent sleeper mount. First off, you're going to need a drill with both a quarter and three eighths inch drill bit. These are needed to drill the holes in the back of the sleeper that you will insert your rib nuts into. You're going to need a rib nut tool. This particular rib nut tool here is the easiest and the simplest one that I have found, being the quickest to use getting on and off. This tool is what we will use to install the threaded rib nuts into the back of the sleeper so we have a place to bolt the bracket onto. You'll need a 3 quarter inch wrench and your impact gun with a 3 8 hex key on it. You will need a 7 16 socket for attaching brackets to the cab with the quarter 20 bolts provided in the kit. You will also need a half inch socket as well as a 3 8 inch socket to complete the assembly of the bracket and attach a satellite dish to the bracket. You will need a step bit or an inch and a quarter hole saw. This is used for drilling a hole in the bottom of the sleeper when there is no factory installed cable entry point. It is also used for installing the on and off switch. To install the switch you will need some side cutters or a set of crimpers and a Phillips screwdriver. I just use a Phillips bit on my impact gun for that. This saves me time and money having one tool that can do multiple tasks. Add sealant and electrical tape to your standard kit. You'll use both throughout the install. So let's review the tools that are needed. A drill or impact gun with drill bits, a rib nut tool like the one I showed you, sockets and wrenches, a step bit or a hole saw, side cutters, crimpers, screwdriver or proper extensions for your drill, sealant and electrical tape. That should do it for the list of tools needed to install the EpicView system on the back of a sleeper. <laughs>